All right, we are live and we will begin construction. And I've had several ideas based on our previous core design that we had come up with. Our job is going to be to simply get to the mun and back as fast as possible using any means necessary other than exploits that any exploit that may teleport you through time and call this the laser beam we don't want the wings to be attached on our way back down because we're going to be going really fast and i want to be able to break these off on re-entry so that we can re-enter really quickly but yeah i wanted our center of pressure to be below our center of mass and be directly down but yes it's probably going to spin on the way up now i don't know exactly how that's going to play out but we will we we will find out shortly all right let's 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 try this out three two one And we have liftoff. That was extremely stable. Yeah, we used about one tenth of our fuel. The only problem is, is it going to be stable in vacuum and it seems like it's going to be obviously we want the mun to be directly above us when we launch because that way we don't have to do that burn we just did bob kerman is not enjoying this uh this trip i get he he's neither not enjoying it nor enjoying it because he's just passed out because of the insane amount of g-force we're experiencing Oh, he's fine. He's fine. We're going to need to launch, get to the Mun, land, take off from the Mun, get back to Kerbin, re-enter Kerbin safely. And the in-game timer is the official time for the uh for the speed run. Yeah, we are going we are going very fast. Very fast. You can visibly see at 1 1x speed, you can visibly see the Mun getting closer. Oh, geez, we need to slow down. Yeah, we should go like this. We burned an, the other half of our fuel. So we need to leave about 30%, 35%. All right, we need to turn the thrust limiter on this thing down to like 1%. Boom, we made it. All right, and then we get Bob Kerman out, touch down. And then we board and then we take right we take right back off so yeah going that fast doesn't seem viable yeah and we're out of fuel so we used half of our fuel to take off from kerbin and then we used the other half to slow down so we didn't run into the mun we can only use about 30% of our fuel to take off and head towards the month. But our launch was extremely stable. All right, let's do it. Oh, way faster. Way faster. Yeah, we're already at 5,000. And it was just that small period of time. Yeah, see, we're accelerating significantly faster. <laughs> this isn't one time speed. Like, look at how fast we're <laughs> Oh, it's so goofy. All right, we're at 50,000. We have to save the rest of our fuel for a return trip. We have to slow down before we hit the mun. We need to land and then we need to take off and then we need to slow down before we hit Kerbin. Okay. Now we need to go reverse burn. 
Oh, we went way too late. Way too late. <laughs> How much Delta V do you think you actually have? Oh, in the hundreds of thousands at least. We could make it to any planet in the solar system with this much energy. Like just to put that into perspective here we can do a launch where we try and actually get to another planet oh 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 it's doing a dance it's doing a dance it's like a crab dance <laughs> it's doing a crab dance oh it's getting unstable it's getting unstable all right, all right stop that we're good Yeah, we should make those wings instead of control surfaces. <laughs> but just to put it into perspective, like we're already like this is our trajectory already. <laughs> like the amount of G-force that I mean, you would be you would be a pancake. You'd be a flat pancake if you were to have launched the way we just did in real life. I like this music. The jewel music is nice. We are in jewel orbit now. There's jewel, lathe, Val, and Tyla right there. Three of the moons. Um, I think we're gonna try another speed run to the Mun. That was a nice voyage to uh to Jewel. Uh three, two, one. a hard time calculating the moon's trajectory and our entry into its sphere of influence what is that do you see that thing sticking up over there i want to go and see what that is i don't know what that is over there Oh, and we hit it too hard. We hit it too hard. We came in at like, what? Five meters a second? I thought that that would be... I wanted to see what that thing was, though. There's something on the horizon. It was... Yeah, there it is. There's definitely something there. Is that like a piece of debris or something? Be a stellar gate. I've seen that somewhere. Wait, what is a stellar gate? Oh, man. Doing these maneuvers with this Kraken drive is so crazy to me. Like, I'm... My piloting skills, I feel like, are getting so much better. That is not... That doesn't look like a gate. I don't know what that is. Oh, it does look kind of like an arch. Yeah. I see that now. Yeah, that definitely looks like an arch now. Uh, should I try to fly through it? <laughs> We're gonna fly through the, the, the gate. The stellar gate. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. All right, one more pass through and then and then back to Kerbin. Woo!
We made it! Haha! I think this is what we're gonna do. One more one one more run to the mun as quickly as possible. Alright, speed run attempt 169. Alright, let's do it. We're all ready. Three, two, one. Oh, it's wiggly again. Something something got messed up. Oh no, we're okay. We're okay. It's hanging in there. All right, we need to go at about 30,000 meters per second. We could probably take the wings off now, but we'll be all right. Bill, it's only 30 Gs or something. You can't handle 30 gravities. Yeah, I think it's just having a hard time calculating it because we're going so fast. Yeah, it only goes to 15. I'm, I'm really curious as to how many Gs we're actually hitting. All right, we got to start burning at about a thousand. Right, I'm going to try and take it in as smooth as possible. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed uh, Z instead of X. It was good all the way up until I messed it up. Okay, though, it's been it's been a good run. Been a good run for sure. Oh, don't break the wings off. Okay. All right, we got to let we got to let Bill out onto the surface. All right, we have touchdown, boarding, and takeoff. All right, now getting back is not as simple as just burning straight towards Urban. I mean, it kind of is. We can go we can go a little faster. We can go a little faster. All right, now we need to go straight towards the target. I don't think it has to be a, a land landing. I think it can be a water landing. Uh, that reminds me. Yeah, we needed to get we need to get rid of those. All right, now we're headed straight down. There we go. Now we're hitting atmosphere. And we've got our parachutes. Oh, and I went up a little bit. All right, I'm hitting parachutes. Yeah, I should make the thrust of it. There we go. All right. There we go. We made it in 34 minutes and 23 seconds. Beat that. So here, here is the speed run. And it was done on stream, so it's official. The speed run is launch from Kerbin using any means necessary, land on the MUN, EVA a Kerbal on the MUN, their feet have to touch the MUN surface, then get back to Kerbin with that Kerbal and successfully splash down and recover the vessel. 